All right, so there's about to be more mining profits for GPU miners coming available basically exactly as this video goes live on my channel. And what has happened is that Pyrin is changing its mining algorithm. And we'll talk a little bit more about why that is significant for GPU miners and why that brings more profitability for GPU miners in just a bit. And in this video, I'm also going to show you how to mine this new algorithm with both Windows and Hive OS. And also thank you to the Hero Miners Pyrin in mining pool for sponsoring this video and making this guide possible. So let's take a look at this announcement here, basically saying that this hard fork uh, that will change the algorithm from Pyrin hash version one to version two is about to happen uh, in about six hours from when they posted this, um, which is about four hours from when I'm recording this and you will see it right as it happens and hopping on it right away might be advantageous and we'll talk a little bit about that too. But so what's going on and why is this significant? Well, if we look here at hashrate.no's network hash rate chart for Pyrin, we can see that something funky is going on here right uh, towards the beginning of September. And essentially what everyone is claiming is happening is hypothesizing that is happening is that either FPGA or ASIC miners have started coming onto the Pyrin network, basically scraping up all of the profits, leaving GPU miners with nothing. So changing the algorithm will essentially mean that all of those potential FPGAs or ASICs will be kicked off of the network and all of the profits will be funneled back to GPU miners like us instead. Because this new algorithm shouldn't be mineable on those potential ASICs or FPGAs. And there might also be an extra incentive to hop on and mine this as soon as the hard fork to the new algorithm happens, because a lot of the times when stuff like that happens, not a lot of people are ready to mine the new algorithm, meaning the network hash rate really goes down really low at the beginning of the fork, meaning the few people who actually are mining properly on the new algorithm at that point get to share a much bigger reward per person, essentially, before the network hash rate kind of goes up again. And I already do have a video that goes in depth on how to mine Pyrin and set up a wallet and all of that. So I'll link that video down in the video description if you want to learn more about what Pyrin is and how it works, how to set up a wallet and all of those things. But I will go through those steps quickly in this video now as well. So to set up a wallet, the very easiest thing you can do is just come to Pyrin's official uh, website, which is just pyrin.network. Click on the web wallet, which is a very quick and easy wallet to set up. So I'll show you how I do that here. This is where you end up if you go to that address. It's just wallet.pyrin.network. You can then click on new wallet here. It will generate a seed phrase for you or a key phrase. You can click to generate new words a few times till you know you get one that you're happy with then save this somewhere safe not on your computer write it down physically somewhere maybe make a couple of copies of that note and yeah keep it somewhere safe but for this demonstration this is just a throwaway wallet that i'm making for the sake of this video so i'm just going to do a screenshot of this like let me see like so there we go. I'll keep pull that outside for now. And then I will just go next here. And let's see what I got. What was my seventh word? My seventh word was toilet, actually. Okay. Uh, 18th word was cur. And the 19th word was admit. There we go. Then just a password for the wallet. I'm just going to do something simple here. And there we go, create wallet. I can throw away this um, screenshot I made because I'm only gonna need to use this wallet for this video and never again. So here we go, that's it. Now this is my Pyrin wallet address, which I can copy and then paste into a document. So let me just open text edit. And yes, I am making this screen recording on a Mac. Yes, because it's easier for video making. So please bear with me. <laughs> so I'll paste my wallet address in there. And then let's set up mining, starting with Windows. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download SRB Miner, the latest version of SRB Miner. So just open up the official SRB Miner GitHub page and make sure you're not on any sort of imposter pages. Click on releases and you want to download 
at least version 2.6.4, um, which is the latest version as of two days ago. Now, keep in mind that downloading and installing any sort of software on your computer always comes with certain risk involved with it, right? So responsible for your own actions there. And with that in mind, to download the mining software like this, you might also need to make an exclusion for the folder you are downloading this into inside of Windows Defender and any eventual antivirus software that you might have installed on that computer. Again, you do so at your own risk. But then just come down here, right? Click on the appropriate zip file. For me, that's going to be the Windows zip file. Right click, save link as, and I'm just going to download that to my mining folder here and hit save. And there we go. Then I'm just going to open this folder and on Windows, you can just right click on it, hit extract all and then extract and it will extract the contents of that zip file. On a Mac here, just for the demonstration of this, sorry, I don't have access to a Windows computer. As you can tell, I'm not in my regular recording studio, but I will be back there again really, really soon. So just Extract the zip file, open up the folder, scroll down until you find the start mining Pyrin. You're gonna right click on that and on Windows, you're gonna hit something like edit and then you might get a pop up about a warning. Just click more info and then run anyway or something along that line if you do get that. But for me, I'm just gonna open with text edit here. But this is basically the file where I input all of the parameters that lets me mine Pyrin to my wallet on my computer. And the easiest way to fill this out is to just go to the Hero Miners mining pool and get all of these settings there. So just open up pyrin.herominers.com and at the top of the page here, there's a little button that says start. So just click on that and it will give you everything, all the information you need to start mining Pyrin. And if we scroll down, um, you can see me there on their website. That's nice of them to put my video there. You can see they actually have a preset here that you can copy into this bat file. So I'm just going to select all of this, copy it, open up my text edit file again. I'm just going to select all and paste what they had here. Now, there are a few things that we still need to change here. The first one being that you just need to make sure that the algorithm here specifically says Pyrin hash V Two. So that is very important for this to work with the new algorithm. Then uh, you also need to put in your own Pyrin wallet address here, which I copied earlier. So I'm just going to copy that in here again, like so. And actually in the password attribute here, you are instead to enter your worker name. So whatever you want your mining rig to show up as on the Hero Miners dashboard is what you put in here. So I can just say Seb's rig one, for example. Then all you have to do is save this bat file, double click on it, and you should be up and mining Pyrin with the new algorithm in Windows. So with that out of the way, let's instead look at how to get set up and mining Pyrin's new algorithm in HiveOS. And to do this in HiveOS is actually even easier, but there is one thing that we need to keep in mind, and that is that we need to be on the latest version of HiveOS, have the latest version of HiveOS installed on our workers for this to work. That is because we need the latest version of SRP Miner installed on our workers to be able to mine the new Pyrin hash version 2. So to do that, just open up your um, worker inside of the HiveOS dashboard, click on the little yellow arrow button here, and then you will be able to upgrade. And as you can see here, the latest version of HiveOS here do feature the SRB Miner version 2.6.4, which adds the Pyrin hash version 2 for Pyrin. So, very good, just upgrade that. And once that's done, all you need to do is go to the flight sheet section of HiveOS and set up a new flight sheet. And the way we do that is just come to the top here of the flight sheets page, there's an add new flight sheet section. And for the coin here, we're just gonna put in PYI. You can see there's a preset for it here for Pyrin. And in the wallet section, you can just hit add wallet. And I can just paste in the wallet that I made specifically for this video. Or if you already have a wallet in HiveOS, that will still work. It has to be a Pyrin wallet, of course, though. And then just name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it test and hit create. Then for pool, we are obviously going to go with Hero Miners. And then you select whichever server is closest to you. I'm just going to go with Germany because that's on the top of the list here and hit apply. Then for Miner, we are going to go with SRB Miner Multi. Then I like to just click on the Setup Miner Config to make sure everything is correct here. And I can see already we do have an issue here, which is the hash algorithm, which shouldn't say Pyrin hash, but Pyrin hash v2. 
So good thing we double checked that. Everything else here looks fine to me. However, you might want to hover over the eye here on worker name and click on the little percentage sign worker name thing here just to make sure that isn't missed. And then you just hit apply changes, name your flight sheet something cool like this and hit create flight sheet. Then you just need to apply that flight sheet to all of the mining rigs that you want to mine Pyrin with. And once we're up and mining, we can check on our mining progress on the Hero Miners Pyrin mining pool dashboard. And to do so, just come to pyrin.herominers.com and then make sure you're on the home tab in the menu at the top here. Then just scroll down to the bottom of the page. And here in the section where it says your stats and payment history, you can just paste in your Pyrin wallet address and hit look up. It will then give you basically all of the stats that you need for your mining, checking on your mining progress and your mining results. Now, I don't have anything up and mining on here currently, so it will be pretty scarce for me, but this will show you your historical earnings. It will show you your estimated future earnings, how much you've been paid, how much you have uh, in terms of a pending balance to be paid. Uh, you can see all of your workers down here. You can see recent block rewards and also your payment history, all of your transactions that you've been receiving from the pool as payment for your mining. Now, there is one more thing you can do here as well. Well, there's plenty of other things you can do here, but one that I want to point out, which is if you come up to the cogwheel icon here at the top right and click that, then if you enter the IP address of one of your mining rigs here, it will allow you to change some settings. Most notably, you can set your minimal payout level, which basically means that the pool will wait until you hit this level of mining rewards available to pay you out. This is good if you don't want as frequent payments. For example, if you are mining directly to an exchange wallet where transaction frequency might matter. But that's the Hero Miners mining pool dashboard in a nutshell. But that is it. It really isn't more complicated than that. And if you want to learn more about Pyrene mining, I recommend you check out my previous video about it, which I put on the screen here. It features a more in-depth look at what the coin actually is and what it's trying to do, as well as how to enter overclock settings for mining and more interesting stuff like that. So yeah. I recommend go check that out and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.